Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. So today, what I thought I would do, since it is the 1st of June, it is time to talk about all the books that I read in May. Hopefully it is not way echoey in here because there are incredibly high ceilings and I have no furniture in this room. So everything just echoes no matter where you are. Also, you can see the porch outside. There is our, that is our porch. I've also got some cats over there. So I mentioned in my last video that in the month of May I have not really read very much. It was the 22nd when I filmed that last video and I managed to read two books since then. Uh, one was an audiobook, so it's only kind of cheating. I've got a very nice hot pink drink today and it matches very nicely with my mug. Um, this is the like Tazo passion tea. I do not know if they sell this anymore because I used to get it in the like passion fruit lemonade things at Starbucks, but I think they switched tea brands. So I think now they're Tivana tea, not Tazo tea. I don't know. Did I make that up? The first book I read was Authority by Jeff Vandermeer. Now this is the second in the Southern Reach trilogy. And I mentioned this book, uh, well, first because Don't get your cats a crinkle tube if you ever want to film. Hey, hey, can we pause? No, the answer is no. I have mentioned this trilogy at least twice before, once because I read the first book earlier this year, and second because this is one of the series that I want to finish this year. So the Southern Reach trilogy is a science fiction trilogy that is mostly set in our world except for this area, which is known as Area X. And Area X has had some sort of disaster happen. And then the Southern Reach is actually the military government outpost outside of Area X that is dealing with what Area X is. So the Southern Reach is sending in expeditions to Area X to try and learn more about it, try and figure out what's going on. And that is basically all you really need to know about the trilogy to get started in the first book. I've read that the second book is a lot of people's least favorite, and I think that's because the pace gets quite a bit slower than the first book, but that's something that I really enjoyed. I really enjoyed the more piecing together the mystery rather than action, 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 and I could have taken the middle section of that second book. It could have been an entire book for me. Um, I just really enjoyed all of the... the mystery starting to become more confusing and things happening that I wasn't expecting to happen and I just thought that was really really interesting. The end of it got a little bit rushed. I will definitely be talking more about this series when I finish the third book which I am currently working on. I'm about a third of the way through it so I'm hoping to finish it up in the next couple of days and then I will report back with how the trilogy overall ended up being. The next book that I read slash listened to, because as I mentioned this was an audiobook, was Gulp by Mary Roach. Now earlier in the year I wrote Packing for Mars by Mary Roach, Gulp Adventures on the Elementary Canal. So the Elementary Canal is what they used to call basically your digestive tract. Gulp was actually the first book that I had ever encountered of Mary Roach's, um, and that was because of a podcast that I listened to. This is like my favorite podcast of all time, and that's Radiolab. If you have not listened to any of Radiolab stuff and you are like a naturally curious, like stories person, then I think you'll really like it. Uh, but they interview her in one of the episodes called Guts. This one is a little bit hard for me because I really enjoy Mary Roach's writing. Um, the audiobook fell a little flat for me, and I think that is to do with the narrator. I don't think the narrator read it in the way that I think Mary Roach would have read it. So I would have loved Mary Roach to have read this audiobook because I've heard her talk about that stuff before and I think she does it with such enthusiasm and such humor that it's really hard for somebody else to duplicate it. So I really enjoyed Packing for Mars quite a bit and I think part of that was because I was reading it and I could hear it in her voice and I could kind of pick up on her humor. But the second part of that is that I also knew a lot more coming into this book than I did going into uh, Packing for Mars. So Packing for Mars talks a lot about individual anecdotes um, based in 
like the space exploration journey. And somehow I don't know more about that, but I know quite a bit about uh, like discoveries and stories about the internal workings of our body. I don't know why that is, considering I have a degree in geology, which you would think would lead more to space than to biology. <laughs> the other thing that I wanted to mention about this book is that you really, it's not gross. <laughs> you think it's gonna be gross, and it's its not. It's like, I, I don't know, I don't know if that's a function of the way she has written it, or if it is, uh, I just have a high tolerance for grossness, but I, didn't find it at all disgusting. So I don't know if that says more about me or more about the book, but there you have it. This is now the second book of Mary Roach's that I've read that I don't own. I own a book by her that I just haven't read. I haven't gotten to it. So that's gonna be on the list. I hope all of you had a really great reading month in May, possibly better than mine was. If you have cats that continuously make noise when you try to film a video, also let me know down below, and I will talk to you guys very soon with another video. Bye. Oh, and also, uh, the vlogging will pick up. I don't know how many of you are crossover vlog watchers and booktube watchers, but my vlogging will pick up. I'll take you couch shopping, because you can see we don't have a couch. It's very fun. It's a very fun time right here. Okay, I'll talk to you guys later. Bye. Are you done playing with your crinkle tube now? Now that mommy is done filming?